Constraint layout allows you to create large and complex layouts with a flat view hierarchy known as the view groups. It's similar to relative layout in all views are laid out according to the relationships between sibling views and the parent layout but it's more flexible than relative layout and easier to use with android studios edit layout editor in android main website many notifications that you will encounter that telling you and advises you to use the real, the constraint layout over a relative and a linear layout so with all of our projects 90 percent of our projects we are going to use the constraint layout and it's powered if you want to learn android app development go to udemy and search for android you will get my course as a bestseller course the complete android 12 developer course mastering android click on it you are you're gonna learn how to build 60 apps from scratch with rating 4.4 and the bestseller and this course is about 86 hours on video demand okay covering all the topics with 47 sections and about 40, 463 lectures at the at the time of uh, recording this video so we are expanding this course and we are adding new tutorials every week so are you ready to become a professional developer with this course Join now too. If you want to learn Android app development and start publishing your own apps, as thousands of people did, join our Udemy bestseller and higher rated course with a free coupon in the description below. We can go to here in the layout folder and I will click uh, create a new file name called constraint. Constraint. I name it as constraint layout. As constraint and the root element would be Android X dot constraint layout dot widget dot constraint layout don't remove this you'll keep the main and the layout okay there is no upper cases as allowed in the file name at the beginning of the file and the layouts so here we go we have our code here in the split mode and we have our view the visual editor here you can use the design also to add the constraint and we can add more complex uis okay and you can drag and drop a constraint layout later if you want any other complex uis to be discovered and created so you can drag and drop a constraint layout or you can code it like this by making a constraint layout dot widget dot constraint layout and identifying the height and the width and this line so this is our main view group and here we are going to put the views or the widgets like text views and the text and image views and so on so all the power of constraint layout is available directly from the layout editors visual tools because the layout api and the layout editor were specially built for each other so you can build your layout with constraint layout entirely by drag and drop instead of editing in the xml so like this you can drag the text and you can try to constrain this exactly like drag and dropping all of its properties so the constraint layout is built for dragging and drop and to facilitate the process of the ui designing for the developers okay so to define a views position in the constraint layout you must add at least one horizontal and one vertical constraint for each view each constraint represents a connection or alignment to another view since we are have this power powerful tool and we are going to use this later on in the, our all projects 
we are going to learn that we can edit the layout the constraint layout and the constraints on the editors and the layout editor ui so let's zoom in as i told you for every view we should make at least one horizontal and one vertical constraint okay so i have dragged and dropped this and you see that 148 is here and 100 is here if i change it to 32 you see it have been moved so this feature represent or this represent the constraint for our text view these are the constraint and this is the constraint widget okay each constraint defines the views position along either the vertical or the horizontal axis so each view must have a minimum of one constraint for each axis but often more are necessary when you drop a view into a layout editor it stays where you leave it even if it has no constraint like this text view however this is only to make editing easier if if you has no constraint when you run the app layout on a device it drawn at position zero zero which is here okay so no constraint though if the widget or the view has no constraint like this it will run when during the app running it will be displayed at zero zero so this does not contain any a constraint but when running the app it will become at zero zero okay so let's took uh, the examples and let's learn about uh, the constraint layout uh, and how to add it to your project since you, we have the latest version of android studios and the sdk it can come directly inside and built in inside the built in SDKs. But if you have an old project or if you have an old constraint, uh, uh, older than constraint layout, or uh, if you have any project with, uh, with more than three years or four years, then you need to add them into the build the Gradle scripts. So you will uh, see the groovy, the, the implementation of them in the Kotlin and the Groovy. So the dependencies we are going to add the build here, the build, the implementation of Android X constraint layout uh, and constraint layout 2.0.4. And we have a new update, a newer version of Android constraint layout. So always when you open the Gradle, build.gradle app make all updates if there is any update okay so and we click on the sync now this line will add the constraint layout to your old projects okay but till now we don't have to add anything because it is uh, the latest version of android studio and it come built in in the layout moreover we can convert any linear layout or any layout to uh, any existing layout to constraint layout. With this, we have this layout. We have created it in the previous videos, and now we can convert this linear layout to. If we go down, and we see there is convert here. We can make it there is a convert it should be converted convertible let me check again okay we can we can make it uh, later on by converting this to uh, you can check it maybe my uh, the option have been removed from uh, in the latest versions but uh, it was making them the convert linear layout to constraint layout by clicking on one click it's very simple 
Now, how to create this constraint layout here? This is the constraint layout, and now how to add the constraints. Click a constraint handle, this is the handle, and drag it to the available anchor position and point. So you see, when I have uh, dragged above, it will, it goes above, and it have been anchored. So this would be, in this constraint have been appeared. This point can be the edge of another view, the, the, the edge of the layout or a guideline. Notice that as you drag the constraint handle, the layout editor shows potential connection anchors and blue overlays. So if I drag this, see the, the blue anchors, okay? This is how we have created the layout, the, the, the constraint layouts. When the constraint is created, the editor gives it a default margin to separate the two views. Every view must have at least two constraint, one vertical, and I will add its horizontal here. So now it would be displayed in the correct position. 128 from this top and 184 dp from the right. Okay? Each constraint handle can be used for just one constraint, but you can create multiple constraints from different views to a same anchor point. So the same anchor point we can uh, handle many position many uh, constraints. But for every constraint, for every wid view or widget, we have four constraints, and this constraint can be triggered or can be constrained to an anchor or one edge or one position or one uh, anchor point. Okay? You can delete a constraint by doing any of the following. Click on the, the constraint to select it and the press delete. So I can press delete. It will be deleted. Let me check this, delete. So we have deleted. Or press the command, the command on, on Mac OS or the control on the Mac OS and click on the constraint, constraint anchor, okay? Or in in the windows, you can click on control CTR. A red one has been appeared. Then click on it in the left. So it have been deleted. So we have two, two ways by clicking in the control and the left click with the mouse or we have to uh, click on it and we press delete. Okay, now, if we see this attribute, there is a constraint called end of the parent, and it is 184 and have been appeared here. You can delete it by clicking this also, okay? So there are three ways to delete the constraint. Now, There are many, many uh, positions that we can check and uh, switch between them. This fixed size, fixed position, this match constraint, and this would be the wrap content. Okay? So, if you add po uh, opposing constraint on the view, the constraint lines becomes swiggly like a spring to indicate the opposing forces as shown here. So here, the effect is shown like this as a spring and is set to fixed, wrap content or flexible like this, in which case the view is centered between the constraint. 
if you instead want to view is to stretch its size to meet the constraints which it to match constraint this is match constraint so the view will stretch its size to meet the constraints okay so if i make this i have added the two constraint the two horizontal constraint and i have switched them to this match constraint one if i put eight here and i will specify it here now the const this widget is being constrained to the left and the right anchor points and stretching its width and getting eight pixels from uh, far from the left and eight pixels from or dp density pixel from the right okay now how to uh, make this uh, alignment this will stretch this will match the constraint i will change it to wrap the content so it have been wrapping the content but making the position now anchored because here is being anchored and as a spring from here and from the right the same way right and left would be anchoring the same and compressing the content of the text view to wrap its content okay if i switch to fixed it's transformed to fixed and it will become according to the, uh, the the width the layout width if i switch as wrap content it will contain and becomes a wrap content constraint if i switch it back to here to the fixed it will specify the width and if i specify the match constraint so it will stretches the width of the layout uh, width and uh, of this uh, widget and it become stretching along the layout okay now let's talk about the order position the order position uh, specifying um, like if we if we need to make another text view let me see it let me show you if i drag and drop another text view i can make here i can constrain this by dragging and dropping so i have constrained this as an order to here this text view is constrained always to the button and uh, the center button of the text view however these constraints do not imply alignment so this text view will still move up and down we need to make alignment alignment the edge or align the edge of the view to the same edge of the another view by making dragging and dropping this to become like this shape i will uh, increase to 32 in order to show you how this align so this will make an alignment to the text view so this text view number two will be aligned to the text number one and the same offset and the same alignment okay the base line alignment baseline alignment to the text if i drag and drop another text view here and i need this text view to align with this text view so i will drag and drop a baseline alignment so text view number three will be or text view number five will be aligned with the text view number four okay it's very simple we can also create a guide line so you can add a vertical or horizontal guideline to which can constrain the views 
and the guideline will be visible to app users will be invisible to app users so you can position the guideline within the layout based on the either dp units or percentage or relative to the layout's edge okay so how to add a guideline this guideline we can make add a vertical guideline or horizontal guideline i will drag and drop a horizontal dotted line to reposition it this vertical line this vertical line you see guys i can drag and drop it as you want i will align it with the 16 and despite make the, making this alignment with the, this text i will remove it by clicking control and left click and i will align this text view dragging this constraint and putting it to this line so now uh, my text view is aligned with this guideline see guys how to make this guideline is very simple by drag and drop a vertical or a horizontal guideline i will make this horizontal guideline here so this text view despite drag and despite aligned to this text view i will remove it and i will drag it to here okay you see the, that this text view since it is aligned according to this text view and this text view have been moved and aligned to another guideline it uh, it have been changed and it follows the alignment of the first text view okay also we can constrain it to a barrier um, by making the guideline we can make a vertical barrier or the horizontal vertical but we prefer using the vertical guideline and the horizontal guideline because they are not visible to the user layout. Okay, now let's talk deeply on the uh, on the constraint, the view size here. If we click on this, let's talk deeply about these nodes and these attributes. You can use the anchor candles here or the handles to resize a view, but this is hard code and the size so the view will not resize for different content of the screen size. To select a different sizing mode, click on the view and open the attributes. This is the attributes and now we have a lot of attributes for the selecting one we click on this text view which is aligned 32 from the border and this text view is aligned 76 from this guideline so text view is aligned from the anchor point now let's talk about this this uh this tool and this constraint panel the first one is this block toggle aspect ratio constraint this is on or off you see how it being affecting the layout if i toggled it it becomes like this if i toggled it off it will becomes like this so this one will be referring for us for the size ratio this is the size ratio this is toggling the size ratio of our text view now deleting the constraint as i told you by clicking on this the third one we need to talk about is the height and the width mode which is here the height and the width mode how to prefer and, and we are going to discuss it the fourth thing is this adding plus so i add a constraint to the nearest one so i have added 16 and i have added it from this text view 
to the nearest one this is called margins and the this is this handle is called constraint bias so I can increase it you see I have increased the constraint bias and you can also highlight individual constraints in the layout editor by clicking on them in the in the constraint so we can highlight this constraint you see how they are being highlighted if I click on end of it will be highlighted a top of text view it will be highlighted start of the parent it will be highlighted okay so you can choose and highlight this constraint now we have talked about and see, and see the difference between the 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 view the mode of viewing so these symbols represent the size mode as follows this is the fixed so the fixed you specify a specific dimension in the text box or by resizing the view in the editor you see here is the layout width and you are specifying them exact what is the height and what is the width if I put here the wrap constraint or the wrap content, the view expands only as much as needed to fit its content. And the match constraint like this, the view expands as much as possible to meet the constraints on each side after accounting for the view's margin. This is plus margin. So however you can modify that behavior with the following attributes like uh, constraint with uh, default wrap or a spread but we are interested in making and understanding them also you cannot use match parent for any view in the constraint layout instead use match constraint we can use 0dp as this layout width so so 0dp will be matching the layout okay so we have seen this layout width it would be 0dp so it will match the width of the parent and taking into accounting these margins okay so this is how we are making these constraint layouts and these constraint aspects and symbols now set the size as ratio this is the toggling aspect ratio constraint you can set a size or the view size to the ratio such as 16 to 9 okay you can set it uh, like this layout constraint dimension you can choose whatever you want if you have defined any of these in the previous okay now to enable the ratio just click on toggle this button this symbol uh, this triangle and click on it and then enter the width and the height ratio in the input that it appears here we are going to put 16 to 9 or if you have defined any of that in the previous so this text is appearing and toggling the aspect of 16 to 9. I will remove it till now. Okay. This is how we can make <clears throat> and how we have uh, understand the Android constraint layout. One another default var margin uh, attributes is to ensure adjust the views uh, margin by ensuring that all the views are evenly spaced by clicking margin like 16 here so they are margin 16 okay in the toolbar to select the default margin for each view that you can add to the layout any change you make to the default margin applies only the view that you add from then on so if I add a text view here, 
it will take a margin from the text view as a 16 dp after i have selected it okay this is very important if you have a big project and you need to uh, to add the margins and this and, and remove the redundancy of the codes and without without uh, repeating the codes every time you add a new widget okay now there is a symbol here that infer constraints so if i drag this there is no constraint to it if i will click on the infer constraint scans the layout to determine the most effective set of constraints for all views it makes the best effort to constrain the views to their current positions while allowing flexibility you might need to make some adjustments to be sure that the layout responds to you as you intend for different screen sizes and orientation if i click on it it will infer the text view to the be current best practice and the best and the nearest constraint and it will add a constraint according to this okay so till now we have added and uh, played with the constraint layout and it's very important uh, con very important layout that we are going to work with along with our uh, course and our uh, applications and we are making uh, and we are going to make a our many complex ui and complex application user interface using the constraint layout so this is one of the best things i love in android studio